to make a video call. This video is a general overview of the concept of video calling with an emphasis on telehealth. This video features different methods, including FaceTime and Zoom. There are many methods to video call. The first type of video call is a person-to-person -person or group video call on an app such as FaceTime, Google Duo, or Messenger. These function like phone calls with the added benefit of seeing the person on the other end. You can call a friend or family member directly and their device will ring. These three apps are FaceTime, Google Duo, and Messenger. FaceTime requires an Apple device to use. Google Duo can be used on any device but requires a Google account. And Messenger can be used on any device but requires a Facebook account. The other type of video call is a meeting on an app such as Zoom, WebEx, or telehealth providers also use a variety of options. There are many types of video calling platforms that doctors use, so follow the instructions that your doctor provides if you are using something that sounds unfamiliar for a telehealth visit. A Zoom or WebEx call cannot be directly entered without an invitation. This email is a sample of a Zoom invitation. It includes a hyperlink, a meeting ID, a passcode, and the option to dial in with your phone instead. A Zoom or WebEx meeting can only be accessed at the specific time that it is being hosted at. For example, if you try and enter a Zoom call on a different day, you will be unable to connect to the meeting. To start a FaceTime call, select the FaceTime app. Press New FaceTime and type in a phone number of someone who has an Apple iPhone or their name if you have their contact saved. Press the green FaceTime button to initiate the call. Sometimes it can take a few moments to connect while they're getting to their phone on the other side. Aloha, Nicole. Aloha, Brian. How are you today? Excellent. How about yourself? Great. How's the weather out there? Nice and warm. Nice and warm. Beautiful sunny day in Hawaii. Okay. Thanks so much for answering our call today. Aloha. Aloha. You can either wait for the person on the other end to end the call, or you can press the red end button. This is what it looks like when someone is calling you. To answer the FaceTime call, you can either tap the green button, or tap on that notification to open it, and press join. Wait for it to connect, and then... Hi, Nicole. Hi, Brian. Thanks for calling me. You're very welcome. It's nice to see you. <laughs> so to end this FaceTime call, you'll select the red end button here. If this icon, if this bar has minimized itself, you just need to tap on the screen anywhere to pull it up again. Then you can select the red end button. Bye, Brian. Bye, Nicole. To join a Zoom meeting, find your invitation in your email. This invitation includes a link where it says join Zoom meeting and then the blue link is below. This long series of random numbers and letters is the hyperlink to our Zoom meeting. From here, I'll click on this and it will open a new tab. From here, it will ask to launch the Zoom application, which we already have installed. When the application opens, it will automatically launch that Zoom meeting that we have an invitation to. This next page says the host will let us in soon. The host of this Zoom meeting has to press a button on the other side to let us enter. Once they have let us into the meeting, we will automatically load in. 
Before these people on the Zoom meeting can hear you, you need to join with audio. So in this case, we're going to join with computer audio. Once your audio is connected, they will be able to hear you. In this case, my camera is off. The buttons on the bottom left allow us to mute and unmute and start and stop our video. Aloha. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for hosting. Mm -hmm. So these menu buttons on the bottom will fade away when you're not utilizing them. To make them pop up, you can move your mouse or in the case of an iPad or iPhone, you can tap. This view allows us to see all participants. It's called grid view. On the top right corner, you can adjust your view to see just the speaker or all parties involved. When you're in a Zoom call with multiple people, it's great etiquette to mute yourself so that your background noise doesn't interfere with others who are talking. On the bottom left-hand side, you can see the mute button to mute yourself. So now you can see all parties in this call have muted themselves. They have the tiny little red icon next to their name indicating that they've muted. So right now they cannot hear us at all. To unmute yourself, you push that button one more time and then they can hear you. It's best to wait until you're called upon unless you're hosting the meeting. There are other options here that you can play with as well, including this option for participants to see the names of who is in the call, the chat to open a chat window and send a text message to everyone in the call, or a share screen option. Share screen option is great for if you're asking for technical assistance from someone who's not near you. To leave a Zoom call, you'll press the red leave button once, and then the second leave button that appears to make sure you can't leave the call by accident. Be sure to say goodbye before you leave the call. Bye friends. When utilizing Zoom on a mobile device like an iPad or an iPhone, getting to gallery view is a little bit different. On an iPad, you can access the menu by tapping on the screen and switching to gallery view with this icon here. This will allow you to see all meeting participants. On an iPhone, you just swipe to the right to see all participants and swipe back to the left to view speaker mode.